New tonight, and we're hearing from the Broward County prosecutor charged with fighting a drug he says is unlike anything that he's ever seen before. A grand jury just made several recommendations to deal with Flocka. CBS 4's Carrie Codd has more. These drugs are far, far more addictive than they were 20, 30 years ago. Prosecutor Tony Lowe is deeply concerned about Flocka, a synthetic drug that can cause users to have superhuman strength, hallucinations, and something called excited delirium. Police and prosecutors are seeing skyrocketing numbers of cases of Flocka in Broward County in just the past few years. 1,800 in 2015 in one county in the United States. Lowe oversaw a six-month grand jury investigation of Flocka. Prosecutors released their report Monday. We've seen video of Flocka users running naked through the streets and trying to break into police departments by kicking down doors or by scaling a fence and impaling themselves. Grand jurors said part of the problem with Flocka is that legislators have only outlawed the chemical compounds of drugs like Flocka, and once outlawed, the bad guys simply tweak the compound to make another similar drug. That we need new legislation in place to stop the manufacturer before it begins. Lowe says grand jurors also want to see better safety methods for police dealing with Flocka users and better education programs to teach young people and their parents about the ways Flocka can alter your brain or body or even kill you. By you taking these drugs, you're effectively cutting down your lifespan and you could end up dead far, far sooner. And Flocka related deaths in Broward are up to 61 in just the past 15 months. These are new and they're extremely deadly. And if we don't get that message out to our very young, we're going to have a whole other generation and see the same thing over and over again. And that's not acceptable to us. Lowe hopes this grand jury report spurs some much needed conversation on Flocka. He says there's a bill pending in Tallahassee that would outlaw all synthetic drugs, not just the individual chemical compounds. You can read this report at CBSMiami.com. In Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.